The Milwaukee Brewers have had some amazing Mother's Day walk-off wins over the years. Who can forget Bill Hall cracking a game-winning home run with a pink bat in 2006 with his mom watching in the stands at Miller Park. Brewers fan Ben Numidor surely remembers the moment and others. Amazing in its own right is his personal collection of autographed baseballs. But as Kim Shine found out, not as impressive as what he plans to do with his prized possessions. Oh, this guy, I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> we'll start this story with what Ben Numidor doesn't have. So yeah, Brandon Kolb I've been trying for, for a very long time. I've had a few different addresses for him and they always come back as uh, non-returnable. So if anybody knows where Brandon's living these days, let me know. He needs a signed baseball from Brandon Kolb and just more than 20 other Brewers players. Then his collection will nearly be complete, at least for now. I have just over 900 of the baseballs signed by various Brewers, uh, almost all Brewers that have ever played. Ben started his collection with the 1982 team, but it's probably not for the reason you're thinking. He wanted a display piece for his new home, and he loved the Brewers. But that project spawned excitement for finding as many autographed team baseballs as he could. So I, I guess it probably was about three or four years into collecting them. I'm like, okay, I've amassed maybe a, a few hundred at that point. And I'm like, well, I wonder how many there really are in Brewers history. So far, 930 players are on the team's all-time roster. And collecting baseballs for all of them? A staggering feat, says Tyler Barnes, Senior Vice President of Communications and Affiliate Operations with the Brewers. There are players that just made very brief appearances here throughout the years. You're going all the way back to 1970. So it, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to do. And once they learned Ben needed help filling the gaps, they offered to step up to the plate. The team keeps in touch with its alumni, so Barnes says some of the signatures will be fairly easy to get. Others, even for them, will be harder to find. You know, there's some players that are deceased. There's players that we don't have contact information for. But also, I think we can help him moving forward um, if he's unable to reach a player and get an autograph. It's something where we can go downstairs maybe if the player is still here, get a ball and, and, and send it off to him. Swing and a liner. That's a base hit out into center. One run Ben's baseball bug was actually ignited by a Brewers rival, the Chicago Cubs. A family friend played on the team. He showed a young Ben around and took him into the locker room to meet some of the Cubs players. People were in there like Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg, Sean Dunstan, all those old great Cub names uh, that we in Milwaukee have learned to, you know, revere and hate sometimes. Um, but it, it was just really cool. But Ben's heart was always in Milwaukee. He grew up watching Brewers games and is making new memories with his three-year-old daughter, Reagan. Arias on the first pitch. That ball's hit, and there she goes! By now, you're probably wondering, how did Ben get all of these baseballs? Well, they come from various places as card shows, retailers, antique malls, and charity events. Some, of course, are from games. Uh, there is a, a Harvey Keen who was the coach of the Brewers in 82. I have him on an 82 uh, game used World Series baseball. Um, that's kind of neat. Um, that's probably the pinnacle of the collection is, is that ball in itself. He's also reached out to players on social media. One, like Trent Durrington, uh, I got a hold of him through LinkedIn. And contacted others by mail. The players, yeah, I mean, a lot of these people are just like us, you know, they, they, they really like a, a good story. They, they like to give back to the community. Um, you know, that's, that's part of almost every brewer that's ever come through Milwaukee. And some, you know, when I send out a baseball to their house, they'll send a letter back saying, you know, thank you, you know, it, it's, it's great that somebody's putting this together, it's for a great cause. And that great cause is now much larger than Ben himself. In his own act of giving, he's working to donate the entire collection to the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Well, we were really excited and honored. Christine Baranowski is Vice President of Engagement and Stewardship at Children's Wisconsin. It's just, it's an, it's going to be exciting to be able to share it with kids and families that will be coming into the clinic that we're planning on displaying this 
amazing um, collection. In. They plan to place the autographed baseballs inside the Children's Clinic in Greenfield. This is where the Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center is located. Well, we imagine, and I think this is Ben's vision as well, is that we imagine the kids looking for players' names that they recognize, and then maybe also the parents looking for um, names that they recognize as well. You know, have a, a kid sit down with their mother or father and talk about, you know, how they saw Robin Yount and how they saw Kristen Yelich or anybody else play in the game and just take a break from it all. Opening day and other logistics for the collection are currently in the works. Both Children's and the Brewers say they'll help Ben continue to expand it. And that gives me a great feeling that it, it's not going to, you know, be an end to the collection. I can keep going and even after I'm gone, I am hope maybe somebody else will take up uh, adding on to it. Because those are the goals, adding more Brewers players as they come along and preserving a piece of Milwaukee history. It's bigger than I am. It's, you know, and it's something that uh, really belongs to the Brewer fans and, and Milwaukee in general. So. Um, that's why I've decided, you know, that it may not reside here forever. It shouldn't reside here forever because it belongs to the people, not just me. The doctor told me the long 